Hi everybody, welcome to another Sustainable House Day video. I'd like to start by acknowledging the traditional owners of the land that we live and work and create homes on, the Ngunnawal people. Today's, uh, or this video, is about a house we call Finnis House. It's in the suburb of Narrabunda in Canberra. These are uh, screen captures from our website, so you can find quite a bit of information about the home there. But let me take you on a tour. First of all, the really cool thing about this house is that it splits into two. So we've got one home, it's only 165 square metres, but it's a fantastic family home. Uh, the main bedroom or the parents' bedroom is down here. Two um, children's bedrooms um, at the front. Lovely lounge room, a country style or farmhouse kitchen, which you'll see later, and another living space, which can function really well as a guest room as well. But it has been designed to split into two residences in the future along this line, creating a downsized house for the, for the parents. Um, there's an access, there's already a door through here and a home study. Um, that gives them private open space in this direction and the car parking here. Um, this house or this part of the home has been designed to split into a single bedroom uh, home. The plumbing and everything is already in place in here for a kitchen. It's currently used as a storage room. It has a lovely glazed door at the end here. So this would become the kitchen and the living space the bedroom and the bathroom. And then this entry space could function as a study. Um, so you then end up with a terrific uh, second home that, and potential rental income. Private uh, garden space and parking. So it's really been designed to function well as two homes. Gonna take you on a quick walkthrough, um, following the green line initially, and then we're gonna switch starting at the front and walk through um, following that yellow line. So let's get going. Okay, standing out the front, um, we are looking at the two kids' bedrooms here. Uh, what people would consider the front door now, which would be, perhaps become the door to the single, um, single bedroom residence at the front. And then there's another door down here that the parents already use in the home office. Um, moving down the driveway, we've used a lot of recycled bricks in this home. Heading into the house now, so we've come through the parents' entryway and we are looking into that home study. It's actually twice as big as this image shows. Um, it's got loads and loads of storage and works incredibly well as a home office. The main bedroom um, is a nice generous space. You can see the wide angled lens is stretching the room a bit, so it's not quite as big as this image suggests, but it is a nice, um, a nice main bedroom, again, with lots of built-in storage. The bathroom that's just uh, alongside that main bedroom, it's not, we refer to this as an off-suite, so it's not a, a true ensuite. doesn't come directly off the master bedroom. These days, a lot of people are realising they don't want to listen to their partner in the bathroom, um, and they might as well have the bathroom nearby, but not directly off the main bedroom. Lovely little bathroom. There's no toilet in this. The toilet actually comes off the laundry, which is the next space. A uh, little shot of the laundry. Um, we're actually standing in the doorway of the toilet uh, to take this shot. It's got a nice glazed door out to the backyard. That's the multi, what we refer to as the multi-purpose room. So this is that second living space, which can also function as a guest bedroom. This is a fold out bed. Um, nice connection through to the backyard. This is the farmhouse style kitchen. So when we say farmhouse, we mean it doesn't have a central island bench. Instead, the dining room sits within that kitchen space and the kitchen wraps all the way around. There's actually lots of storage on this side as well. It's an incredibly space efficient way to design a kitchen. Um, really makes the footprint work hard. So if you're really tight on space, this is a really clever thing to consider. Um, our clients find it works beautifully. So that the dining table becomes um, a preparation space as well um, as, as the clients are preparing meals and then they get to sit down and enjoy it. It's got beautiful connection out to the deck, which you can't, which is off to the side here. Another angle on that kitchen, again showing there's lots of storage wrapping um, around the end wall as well. 
another angle on the kitchen where you can see that connection to outdoors. That's lucky me dropping down to enjoy a drink one night. Looking from the outside back to that the sliding door to the, the kitchen, and this is the window through to the lounge room. You'll notice that our houses tend to have less glass than most new homes. When you're inside the homes, they don't feel like that. There's plenty of natural light, plenty of natural heat, but we really optimise the windows to maximise the thermal performance. So we think incredibly carefully about those, where those windows are placed. So you've still got beautiful connection to the outdoors, um, but you don't go too far because you can have too much glass um, and thermally weaken the performance of the home. More recycled bricks, um, a nighttime shot, so that's the multi-purpose room the farmhouse kitchen and the lounge room, which we're yet to show you the inside of. Okay, so that's finished our green line. We'll start at the front um, with the yellow line now. So nighttime shot, uh, the kids' rooms into that entry space, which might convert to a study down, to the, down the track. So here we are, this is actually two shots. We're entering the study this way um, through to that lounge room we'll visit in a minute. Um, or standing in the hallway, looking back to the front door and um, we head that way to the living room. Um, one thing worth noting, this client uh, furnished and decorated their house entirely from um, uh, the green shed or the, the tip shops as we call green sheds here in Canberra, um, charity op shops um, and Gumtree. Um, amazing collection, a retro collection of furnishings and um, decorations. It's really gorgeous. This is a wide angle shot standing in the doorway to the first bedroom. So looking down the hallway to that entryway, this is one of the bedrooms and then there's another bathroom off to the side. That's the end bedroom. Again, the wide angle length is stretching things a bit, but it is a nice generous space with um, a wall of joinery. This is the room that would convert to a living space down the track. So this wall here, backs onto what is now a storage room where all the plumbing is already in place for conversion to a kitchen. So this wall would come down, creating a kitchen and living space. That's the bathroom in the kids wing. And then we head into the lovely lounge room, which is a gorgeous space to sit in. Um, it has a beautiful window seat as well as couches along um, both of these walls. Um, and there's a lovely water feature outside. So as well as the beautiful northern light, you get these incredible reflections off the pond into the house. It's really, um, really pretty. A uh, beautiful space to hang out in. And the dog, <laughs> the family dog, absolutely loves being in this room. It's another shot looking toward that window, which overlooks the um, water feature and out to the yard. And then back to this shot, just to again remind people how if you're designing a new home, we really encourage all of our clients to think about how that home can function as your lifestyle changes and as your family grows. So as the kids leave home, one of the kids in this family has already left home, is off um, at uni interstate. The other one may go soon. In which case, um, the parents are gonna be very happy with their house back here um, and will be happy to convert this into that kitchen and living space and rent out a fantastic little eight star unit that has its own private access and its own private parking and outdoor area. So think smartly about how you can design for the future. And again, I'd like to finish by thanking the sponsors of this terrific event and the amazing team at Sustainable House Day who make it possible. Have a great day.